Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the Libby app on your phone or iPad or other smart device. You're going to start by downloading the Libby app. There are links uh, on our website for how to do that, or you could go to um, your phone's app store and search for Libby, L-I-B-B-Y. After you download it, um, when you first open it, this is the screen you will see. Do you have a library card? Yes. So you can search for the library. Um, if you have your GPS enabled, it can guess your library if you are near the library. Otherwise, you'll have to search. That's us. And it's just going to walk you through this. So we want to use our library. And your pen. If you don't know your pen, reach out to us. We will reset it for you. It should probably be the last four digits of the phone number you gave us when you got your library card. So that was quick. So next. If you read with Kindle, you can connect your Kindle directly to it and it will send your books to your Kindle. You can also just read it on the Libby app. So when you first log in, it's going to give you some suggestions of books that it thinks you might like. It'll also let you browse by category. And it also has magazines. And it'll also have the most recent magazine. So you don't have to look for back issues. You can write, read newer ones. Um, there are also a lot of magazines in languages other than English. So if you read other languages, you can find some magazines there. And you also have audiobooks that you can read from the app as well. So down here you have a search function. And let's say I want to read something by, I always default to Stephen King. And I want to refine my results because his new book is not available. See, I can place a hold, but it's not here. So I'm going to refine my results. And I only want books. I don't want an audiobook today. So this one I can place a hold, but this one I could borrow right now if I wanted to. So I'll hit borrow. I have 20 loans I can check out and 20 holds I can place. Borrow. Now I could keep browsing if I want more, or I could just open the book and start reading. I can read on this app, or I can send it to a Kindle if I had one. I'm just going to go right to the app. It'll take a moment to download the book, and you can hop right into it. And you hear on my, sh on my shelf, it shows that it's due in 21 days. If I had any other books, they'd also be here. So let's look for an audiobook now. Let's change my refine here. Format. This time I only want audiobooks. So I'm going to borrow this one. I'm going to go ahead and open it. So you see here is I can play it right from the app. It shows that it's uh, almost four hours long. I can go here to select which chapter I want to go to. It's also very browsable. So if you're not sure what you're in the mood for, you could check out some suggestions, or you could just see what's popular right now. If the book that you want isn't available, you can place a hold, and you will get an email or a notification from the app when it's available, and they give you a few days to check it out once it is available. If you don't check it out in time, it's going to go to the next person after you. 
So that's just a quick look at how Libby works. And if you have any more questions about using Libby or want some help with your device, um, give us a call and we would be happy to help you out with it.